What is going on? This is Boom Bricks with another city update. So I've been working on the train track and this uh, wall fencing. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done an update. I've been really busy with work and then uh, doing this track has been very time consuming. I'm not even done yet. So, But I just want to give you guys a quick update since I haven't done one in about, probably about a month. So this is what it looks like. I really like how it's turning out. So you can see I still have to do track through here, all back there, all the way up to there. I just got to that point just now actually. Um, I gotta order some more pieces. I ran out of uh, the reddish brown uh, tiles, the one by fours and the one by ones. So you can see there's uh, some missing brown one by ones in there. And I'm completely out of the one by fours, so pretty much have to wait till I get my Bricklink order, which I placed a couple days ago. So it should be here either tomorrow or Tuesday. I just gotta find time to work on it. But yeah, I really do like how this, the border came out, the fencing, I should say, all around. I used the modified bricks, and then these are just the just telescope pieces. Nothing else has really changed in the city. This is what I've been pretty much working on. Like I said, it's been very time consuming. Uh, this is a corner piece of the track. This one will go, it's the last one right there. So I was basically able to pre-build that most of, mostly um, what's difficult, I can't really get back there, but kind of see what I had to do is I put all the, uh, two by threes all the way down here. And same thing with the two by fours underneath. Cause you basically have to kind of build it up and then I have to kind of fit it and remove some of the one by threes and the, I think just the ends of the, I'm sorry, the two by threes and the ends of the two by fours. Uh, cause it does get tight in here. So you can see like right there, I had to remove one and I put, um, uh, one by twos under there just to support this, uh, tile piece. So like these two, I had to remove, uh, that one there I had to remove. Like I said, I just have a one by two under it supporting it. So there's actually three here that I had to remove. And then the two by four here. I had to remove and there's a one by four going across here actually <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of sick too um, so yeah so I kind of have to basically fit it and see where the two by threes or the two by fours are touching uh, my barrier wall here and then remove it and then just put smaller fill in smaller pieces so it is it's very time-consuming especially the corners um, the straight track I mean, it's pretty simple, goes along pretty well. Um, the way I kind of did this, there's a video I found that was pretty simplified of uh, how to do this. I mean, the the straight rail is pretty easy. It's the corners that were kind of uh, a little more challenging, but this is very part intense. Um, I can't tell you how many pieces I've had to order for this, and I still have to order more, because like I said, I ran out I did my count and I miscounted somewhere. But basically I ordered a bunch of uh, two by three black pieces and I put them under, uh, take this apart kind of. Basically, and all the curves, so there's your curve. And then I did the two by three black. this piece so those are two two by three black and you flip it over so that's what you have so there's gonna be one spot where you can fit a one by four and since this is the nine volt track it's the just the regular dark gray pieces not the dark bluish gray um, so this will go there will be one spot for it basically and this other spot 
and yeah, everything's still a mess. So this other spot you can see where you can fit one piece here, but you can't fit anything here. That's what I did. This is what I think this is what they kind of show in the video. Is I took any, I got these uh, stud pieces. You can't, you could use whatever color because you ain't gonna see it. Basically just stick that on top of the black uh, pieces underneath or whatever color. It doesn't matter what color you use underneath. Uh, I didn't have that many, so I just, I ordered some and I just ordered them all in black. And then the tile piece fits right there. So that's basically what I did throughout the whole thing here. <clears throat> and then the reason this isn't 100% complete, why well, I don't have the uh, one by ones in here is because I still have to, basically what I was doing is I get it as far as this and then I've been having to fit it in the corner See what are these, what um, two by three or two by four pieces I have to take off, put the one by two underneath there, and then I will uh, tile these one by ones back in. It's just kind of the easiest way to do it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, this is just, this has been very time consuming. I've had little time to work on it, so it's been, take me quite a while and a little more than halfway done with the track. But yeah, so once this is done, I can finally start working on something else. Like I said, time has been an essence with me lately, so I haven't had too much time to work on this, but it is coming along slowly, which is fine. I mean, I kind of started doing this because it was just, I enjoy doing it. It's a good way to, to me, it's a distressor. So I uh, definitely a way to relax, make, make, I feel relaxed when I do this, so. Definitely one of the bigger reasons why I am doing this. And I just love the fact that I got back into Legos. So, so yeah, this is the update for right now. Uh, once I finish, I'll give you another update. And hopefully then I'll have a train running on here. All right, boom breaks out.